stories, we join Kate Smith at the news desk. Good evening. Worried mothers here are concerned at the lack of advice available over the baby milk scare. The government is being accused of a cover-up and is facing mounting pressure to name the brands shown to contain chemicals which may cause infertility. Jeannie Johnson reports. The government has refused to name the baby milk brands at the centre of the scare and is insisting there is no cause for concern. But for mothers whose babies are solely fed on formula milk, it's a terrifying dilemma. Well, I'm obviously very worried. Patrick here is four and a half months. He's now being fed on, on formula. I, I breastfed him to start with, but it's too late for me to go back to breastfeeding now. And every time I give him a bottle of milk, I wonder what it's doing to him. But you have no option? No, absolutely none. And the, and the, the government won't reveal the names of the brands that are involved with this scare that ha have the, the chemicals in them. So I've just got to continue with what I'm used to giving him and, and hope for the best. But it's, it's terribly worrying for a mother like me and any other mother with, with small, chatty babies. <laughs> Government researchers have found that nine brands contain unacceptable levels of chemicals called phthalates. These chemicals used to soften plastic have entered the environment through packaging and plastic pipes. Tests on animals suggest they reduce the male sperm count and cause testicular abnormalities, though it's not been proved. Some scientists blame these chemicals for the current alarming drop in male fertility. The government say the rate present in baby formula is 100 times below danger levels. The uh, levels that have been detected as a result of our food surveys, which we do all the time, uh, show that it's not at a risk level in any of the uh, baby milks involved, uh, and therefore there is no need to name the products. Today, bank holiday meant the Department of Health here was closed. Worried mothers were seeking advice in Boots in Belfast. What we've been saying to our customers is that trying to stress the importance of continuing to provide babies with their nutrition and continuing to feed their babies with their normal baby milk that they would be feeding them with normally. Have you as a store been able to get any satisfaction from government over whether in fact it is safe? Well, information is limited. Um, the information we have is the same as everybody else. We have seen the reports in the media and really we're looking to government for further information on this. It's been a year of food scares, first beef, now baby milk. But while you can make informed choices about eating beef, there is no option for bottle-fed babies, which is why the truth must be told in this issue to safeguard those who can't yet speak for themselves. Jeannie Johnson, UTV Live, in Belfast. Newton Abbey Police have renewed their appeal for help in tracking...